Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. I recently did this backcountry sunset painting in Photoshop and I honestly surprised myself because it's been a hot minute since I actually did a digital painting. I usually do a lot of traditional painting and recently, you know, I haven't really been painting like at all. So I expect it to be very, very rusty, but in the end, I really had fun. And I think this painting came out to be really pretty, really fun. And I just wanted to do a time-lapse video for you guys to see the process and see how this illustration comes together. You can see that I I did a lot of figuring things out. It was a lot of trial and error and starting over and I would say I really took my time with this painting unlike all the other paintings that I've done compared to my digital art paintings. I think that made a really huge difference just Thinking through things, taking your time and having the patience can really change the way that you paint. Recently, I've discovered that because I am an overthinker, that's what's really blocking my true potentials. You know, that we all have, as artists, we have this perception of art that society and social media feeds us you know how art is supposed to look like and because it's pretty so there's more views than if there's another painting that is beautifully crafted but not quote-unquote pretty and I think we should just Throw that shit in the trash. I mean, nobody is really there to tell you if something is pretty or not. And I don't think we should have these expectations for ourselves. For this painting, I had a reference, but this turned out to be like totally 360 different from my reference photo. I've also picked up dance as a hobby and I think I think because of that, I was actually able to improve. And I know that doesn't make any sense, but I just want to say that you can improve without continuous, rigorous practice every single day. Does that mean you should do that? Not practice? Obviously not. You should practice. I'm just terrible at it, but I want to just say even if you aren't practicing, every single day. Don't beat yourself up over it because a lot of things go into art, all right? Not just practicing and not just your technical skills. It also very much has to do with your own perceptions, your own mental state, your own mood. And yeah, um, I, again, I overthink a lot. So when I danced, I was taught to just forget about that. Forget about thinking. Forget about having any sort of expectations for yourself. Just have fun and feel the music. And I th put that thinking into this painting, you know, and because of that, I was able to really sit down, not feel any sort of pressure to finish quickly or any kind of like this visual image of like what the end result should be. I don't think we should have like the, like a very strong, like again, expectation of what the image should be because what we really think an image or an illustration should be is totally different from our finished painting. And that's okay. We have to learn to understand that that's totally okay. And so for this painting, I've, had so much fun doing it and although I use a lot of preset brushes brushes which I've downloaded and um, and used like 
but I'm not using it as like a cookie cutter. So I'm not just like placing on a canvas and being like, well, my job here is done. I'm not going to do anything else. I'm trying to use it and make it very integral to the illustration, like the atmosphere. What kind of atmosphere do I want? I wanted a really beautiful, warm kind of atmosphere. So that's why I use the colors that I've used. And that's why, you know, I, I learned, I use all my knowledge of like color and light so that these, I guess, cookie cutter stamp brushes don't look like they're very cookie cutter. And yeah, so I just wanted to say that be nice to yourself. Don't, don't like beat yourself up because again, you're not studying every day or because you have some kind of expectations for yourself. Yeah, so I hope you enjoy this video and um, please be nice to yourself when it comes to things like this. Have fun, be patient with yourself and you will see improvements. All right, don't forget to like this video, subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.